my website right now and download my free course on alternate picking mastery. It contains five essential exercises that will take you to alternate picking mastery faster than you can imagine. And then I've included my method of how to lay out a practice plan in just one to two minutes that will absolutely boost your results like nothing you ever tried before. So go download it right now. It's free. <laughs> I have a secret to tell you, and I haven't told you before, and I realized why haven't I talked about that, this very important secret. Uh, it's my secret, it's not a secret to getting faster, but it, it's, it is a crucial insight uh, that will really do something to your impatience when you, when you practice. But I haven't told you because the fact is, I'm, I'm actually a little ashamed uh, that this is my story. <clears throat> but here it is, and I will tell you as you click the links below and download the free courses and uh, everything, right? And you subscribe to this channel and please leave a comment if you have an experience that looks just a little bit like mine or you have anything to say about it. So I started out playing guitar when I was 10. I played for a couple of years. You know, my mom told me to pick an instrument, so I did, but I didn't really advance beyond, you know, advanced beginner, low intermediate. Then I hit uh, high school and I watched a one hour instructional video with Paul Gilbert and all he heck broke loose. And for the next two years, I practiced like a maniac. Uh, you know, techniques, mostly alternate picking, hammer-ons and pull-offs, sweet picking, all of those things. Um, and what happened was I reached a level where I could do the thing, right? If anybody told me, can you play a really fast run using alternate picking, I could do it and at a really high level, but I had to focus on it. And I had to, you know, I didn't have any free playing style. I had to compose everything that I played. I couldn't just, just start playing and having fun and improvising and having that relaxed feeling of really being in the music. Everything was like a little bit tense when I was playing, you know the feeling, <laughs> right? And so, so it was like I had all the skills, but I just, couldn't do what these guys did. You know, I, I, I just felt like I hadn't arrived. Actually, I felt like I'd gone, you know, half halfway there. It was like there was, oh, and I didn't know what to do about it. So I can play the techniques, but I have to use a ton of focus to do it. And I have no freedom. I have no relaxed, you know. And so basically what happened is I got kids. You know, and I thought, you know, I have to have a real job. I can't live like a musician and getting paid in beer, right? <laughs> you know, playing late night gigs. And so I quit the whole thing. This is what I'm a little bit ashamed of. I quit the whole thing. I cut my hair. I had hair down to here. And then, you know, I started as a salesperson, phone sale selling, and it was awful. But it developed me in, in you know, some regards. And then I became uh, self-employed and years went by. And then five, seven-ish years after that, I hadn't touched my guitar for that long. Really, no playing at all, nothing, nada. Uh, and then I, suddenly I was struck by lightning of inspiration. And it was just like, suddenly, by, you know, before I was like, I don't wanna play guitar, it's just, it's just, it's, it does nothing for me anymore. And then suddenly I was just, <gasps> It was like a new ignition of the same, the same passion, the same enthusiasm. And then I took it up again. And what happened next, clickbait, right? <laughs> what, you won't believe what happened next because I didn't believe it. Then I took up practicing again. And over the next three months, I developed rest of the 50% I was lacking. And then I developed my fretboard freedom insights. I developed my alternate picking. It was like I had total clarity about the, the two years where I practiced that much. And suddenly, at a, at a whole new level, without having practiced for seven, you know, six, seven years, everything just came together. Like magic, really like magic, like actual magic, right? suddenly leaping to that zone where everything just came together. And a lot of the things I did or practiced over the those three, four months, I have in my programs on guitarmastery.net. Uh, they're all in my programs, but, but what really happened on a fundamental level, at least in my analysis, and this is the whole point of the video, is that I was, you know, behind on time. I was ahead on repetitions. 
I had built all the skills and I had done all the exercises. But then suddenly over those three, four weeks or months after seven years of in total inactivity, I started integrating everything I'd learned, you know, doing integration exercises. But there was something more than that. And it's simply the fact that in any recipe, you have to put the cake in the oven, right? And the cake has to stay there. Once you put the ingredients in, I use this analogy all the time. Once you put the in ingredients in, you have to put it in the oven. And so once you, uh, and, and you know, it has, you know, one hour, 30 minutes, whatever it is, if you pull it out too soon, it's just a gooey blob of nothing, right? And what I had after two years was a gooey blob of nothing. I couldn't play. I could do the thing, right? The different elements of playing. But the integration, the melting together of the whole thing, the relaxedness, you know, all of those, it was like all my, all the, the different elements of my brain just was lighting up. But the maturity that I could only get through time, even though I wasn't practicing, it was like there were so many repetitions in there that my brain had to digest it, had to accumulate and just like adapt to all those and really, you know, make all the connections in my brain, even though I wasn't practicing because I had so much stored up that my brain simply could after two years of practicing with varying degrees of intensity. But I was like, you know, I never watched TV or anything without practicing. So I was practicing three, four hours a day, just, you know, with the metronome by myself when I was talking to my parents, you know, late at night and I was just practicing all the time. And so I got so much in there and, and that I re it really took me or oh, my brain so much time to digest it. And just think about that. And think about the fact that every single perfect repetition you do, whether it be chords or scales and try to remember stuff or play stuff, if you practice perfect repetitions, scale shapes, everything, you can practice so much that you're actually ahead of yourself. Right, that you need time to mature those skills. Doesn't mean that you can't do it. Doesn't mean that you can't remember those scale shapes with conscious focus. Doesn't mean that you can't do the alternate picking thing in you know a year or whatever, right? But it takes time to mature those skills. And the, the funny thing is, in my case, that I that actually happened with no contact with the guitar. It, it's just a matter of a, a, a process in the brain. Then I'm, when I took it up. You know, three months, four months went by and it was just like, whoom, right? So think about that. And please comment if you have any experience, any stories like that that relates to this. I would love to hear them because it's an interesting thing. I really think so. So um, remember the thing with the links and the subscription and the comment and everything. And then I'll see you tomorrow. Subscribe for more free videos. Do it. Do it now. Do it.